Ever wondered why lifting weights makes your muscles grow? It's not just about pumping iron. It's about how your body responds on a deep cellular level. In today's video, we're diving into the real science behind muscle growth. Busting myths and unlocking the secrets to building lean, strong muscle faster and smarter. Myth busting. Forget what you thought you knew. Let's get one thing straight. Muscle growth is not about spending endless hours at the gym or guzzling mystery powders. In fact, many people plateau or give up because they're following outdated bro science. So today, we're uncovering. What actually happens to your muscles when you train? Why protein is your best friend? The truth about supplements and muscle memory, and how recovery may be more important than your workouts. Let's break it down. The building blocks of muscle growth. The importance of resistance training. If you want to build muscle, resistance training is your foundation. Why? Because when you challenge your muscles, whether through weights, body weight, or resistance bands, you create the stimulus your body needs to grow stronger and bigger. And it's not just about looks. Strong muscles improve posture, metabolism, and even protect your joints. Micro tears and muscle repair. Every time you lift, especially under load, you cause tiny micro tears in your muscle fibers. It might sound bad, but this is exactly what you want. These micro tears signal your body. Hey, this muscle wasn't strong enough. Let's repair and rebuild it bigger and stronger next time. This repair process happens after your workout, not during it. Protein synthesis, the engine of growth. That's where protein synthesis comes in your body's process of repairing and rebuilding muscle tissue. When your protein synthesis exceeds protein breakdown, you gain muscle. If it's the other way around, you lose muscle. Simple science. This is why protein intake is absolutely critical. Fueling muscle growth. What you eat matters macronutrients and timing. Let's talk fuel protein needed for muscle repair and growth. Aim for 1.6, 2.2 g per kilo of body weight. Carbs, fuel your workouts and help with recovery. Fats, support hormone production and overall health. When you eat also matters. Try to get protein in within one to two hours post-workout. Carbs can help replenish glycogen stores and aid recovery. The power of a calorie surplus. Muscle growth requires energy and that means calories. If you're not eating enough, you won't grow, no matter how hard you train. To build muscle, aim for a slight caloric surplus, around 250-500 extra calories per day. Depending on your body type and training intensity. What about supplements? Supplements can help, but they're just that supplements, not magic potions. Protein powder. Convenient way to hit daily protein goals. Creatine. Backed by science to improve strength and power. BCAAs may help during fasted training but aren't essential with a good diet. Spend your money wisely, whole food comes first. The science of adaptation and muscle memory. Your secret weapon. Ever notice how when you get back into training after a break, your gains come back faster? That's muscle memory. Once your body builds new muscle nuclei, they stick around, even if you take time off. This means you can rebuild strength quickly after a setback. Progressive overload. The growth trigger. If you lift the same weight for the same reps every week, your muscles get bored and stop growing. You must apply progressive overload. Add more weight. Do more reps. Increase sets. Reduce rest time. Your body only adapts when it's challenged. No challenge, no change. Rest and recovery. The overlooked key. You don't grow in the gym. You grow while recovering from the gym. Recovery includes quality sleep, seven to nine hours, active rest days, proper nutrition and hydration. Without recovery, your muscles can't rebuild, and you risk overtraining leading to fatigue, poor performance, and even injury. More training heals more gains. Not true. Overtraining can stall your progress. Quality, quantity. Miracle exercises? No single exercise builds all your muscle. Compound movements like squats, deadlifts, presses, and rows are best, but variety matters too. Genetics don't matter. They do. Your frame, recovery rate, and muscle building potential can vary. But genetics are not a barrier, they just affect your rate, not your potential. You need to train daily. Three, five quality workouts a week with structured rest is more than enough for most people. Optimizing your results, personalized training plans. Your training should reflect your goals, strength, size, tone, your schedule, your level of experience. 
Don't blindly follow someone else's plan. Customize for you. Find a coach or mentor. Whether it's online or in person, a good coach can. Correct your form, hold you accountable. Help you break through plateaus faster. Staying motivated. Muscle growth takes time, but here's how to stay on track. Track your progress. Photos, measurements, weights lifted. Set realistic short-term goals. Celebrate small wins. Join a community or challenge. Stay consistent and the results will come. Final thoughts. Trust the process. Let's recap what we've learned about the science behind muscle growth. Resistance training creates the stimulus. Nutrition fuels the repair. Rest and recovery seal the deal. Progressive overload drives continued growth and consistency is the real secret weapon. Drop a comment below. What's your biggest takeaway or myth you've believed about muscle growth? If you found this video helpful, like it, share it with your training partner and subscribe for more science-backed fitness tips every week. Train smart, eat right, recover hard. Your transformation starts today.